Hello everyone, it's Attack with a T here, and for today, so, Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hell will be released in this month on Thursday, October 20th, 2022, and I am very excited to play this game, and I've already pre-ordered my copy for it, and I did play the first game, Kingdom Battle, which, um, thanks to a free trial on Nintendo Switch Online, I played it for about a few hours, and I do love a lot about this game. The characters are fun and expressive, especially with the rabbits, despite their annoying first appearance as, you know, being the main spin-off char characters to the Rayman series. It was still a fun thing to see a crossover between Mario and the Rabbits. Not only that, the gameplay is fun and endearing. If you're not much of a strategy uh, person who loves strategy uh, games, then this could be a little bit of an issue for to you, but after about a few minutes, it definitely is a bit more engaging and fun once you get all the strategies and planning ahead. And not only that, the extra side content is really great, along with the DLC that features Donkey Kong, to which I didn't really get it, because like I said, I got it with a free trial and all. So yeah, Sparks of Hope is a game that I'm very excited to pick up once it comes out. However, there's a certain character that I do want to be talking about that is in relation with the game of Sparks of Hope, that being the main villain of the game, Cursa. Now, Cursa is the main antagonist to Sparks of Hope, and when this character was first shown up last year at E3 2021, I did not know what to say about it. Like, yeah, first of all, the character is majestic looking, but it is very intimidating and huge as well, and especially with all the different, I guess you can say, uh, rapid, like, I guess you can say those... Uh, rappins or whatever but overall cursa herself herself is an interesting character but we didn't really know much about the lore between this character or what the origin of this character exists in or what the role of i mean aside from being the main antagonist we don't really know why cursa even is was you know here to begin with well according to some theories and especially with the latest trailers many has stated that Cursa is none other than Rosalina herself. Now, yeah, it is a little bit out of stretch to some people, but you know what? I agree myself because just from the character of Cursa and Rosalina, there are, I want to give out at least a few reasons of why exactly Cursa and Rosalina are the same person and Rosalina herself is actually an evil character in Sparks of Hope because there's just a few things I really have to say that would really make sense once you go through it. First off, we gotta talk about the roster. Kingdom Battle in the first, the first game, Kingdom Battle, had at least eight different characters. From Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, and the Rabbit counterparts. The sequel now give us, gives us nine different characters. Six of them are returning characters, being Mario, Luigi, Peach, and the Rabbit counterparts. But three new characters will be added as part of your theme, uh, as part of your team. And since Yoshi's now gone, it's pretty much kinda shows, uh, but anyhow, we're gonna be getting three characters that'll be a part of your team being Bowser, which I guess you can say is sort of a way to make up for his lack of appearances in the first game, in the first game uh, aside from Fina being possessed by the, as the final boss and all. And then there's also an Edge, an original character that will be joining your team. And all I can say is that I do like the character of Edge. Yeah, she's the definition of an edgy character. But the most interesting part about it is Rabbit Rosalina. Now, Mario, Luigi, and Peach, they all have the rabbit counterpart tech. Even Yoshi has his own rabbit counterpart, despite him not being in this game. Um, but Rabbit Rosalina is, strangely enough, doesn't have her original counterpart, Rosalina. You would think that Rosalina would have, like, a big role in such, in this game and all, since that, this, since we do already have a rabbit counterpart. Not only that, even Rabbit Rosalina in some clips of the game stated that she kind of is, that Rosalina is, in, is an inspiration for Rabbit Rosalina. So it's kind of weird to not see the original counterpart of the rabbit version when, you know, this game is kind of all about being in the galaxies. And that's kind of my second reason for this, of why exactly Cursa is Rosalina. Because since Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope is going to be taking place in space, and the Lumas, well, Rabbit Lumas are going to be hugely involved in this, you can tell that Ros Rosalina is going to have some part in this game as well. And especially since Mario Galaxy is also taking place in space, and was her very first appearance before becoming a huge mainstay to the Mario franchise. So I can see that as well. But the third reason is definitely gonna, you know, hit the nail to the coffin on why exactly Cursa is Rosalina. 
Now, thanks to this key art from the latest trailer, you can see that some of the characters, uh, well, these, like the main bosses you see here, are all female characters. Going from the ghost girl, this buff rabbit, and this plant-like rabbit as well, all of them are female characters. And not only that, Cursa herself also has sort of like a has sort of a design. Well, has a design that is pretty similar to the dress of Rosalina. If you look at kind of like that small, I guess you can say slit and then you see this character design of Rosalina you can see that it sort of is the same thing except it is pretty longer it also has a bit of feminine hands as well which could also show Rosalina's um which also couldn't really mean that these are Rosalina's hands but the most interesting part was from the latest trailer of Sparks of Hope in the latest one you can see there was a few seconds of, there was like a clip that lasted about 10 seconds one of them showed uh now first of all Cursa is like I said is very huge so it's kind of hard to tell what's behind that hood but inside we do get to see a glimpse of a red menacing eye but about a second later it suddenly turns blue not only that the blue the the shape of the eye is very identical to the eye that Rosalina has she also has the same hair um the, the same I guess you can say the same eye color and plus you can see a, a glimpse of her face in a way kind of shows a bit of her of the same nose design yeah um yeah given how this is pretty much from the latest trailer and it kind of indicates that yeah you can tell that Rosalina is pretty much in there to begin with not only that, she can only change that eye color when she see when she has sympathy for the rabbit Luma she's holding in her hand right now, but she turns it back into the red menacing eye after that. So all those reasons is kind of really shows and proves, if not, that Rosalina and Cursa are the same are like the same character. So yeah, uh, would I really call this a major spoiler? Because this is the main antagonist to the series, and, you know, since, you know, like, this, for some that don't really want to get spoiled at all, this could really be considered as a spoiler, but would I necessarily call it a spoiler when, you know, many of the theories is, has kind of been, you know, right at some point, and the fact that there was some gameplay footage that were strangely enough not showing any Rosalina gameplay footage at all, and from the fact that Curse that has similar designs to the characters we to the character we know and love and even the latest trailer even indicates that this is definitely Rosalina now since we now know that this character is indeed Rosalina the question is however is how exactly did she became this way because now we know how Bowser became the main antagonist. Yeah, he wasn't. He was only there for like ten minutes of screen time and all. But he kind of just was there to become the final boss after being corrupted by this giant pixelated dragon or whatever from Spawny. However, we really don't know how exactly Cursa and how Rosalina even became Cursa to begin with. Because I would not be surprised if Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope is gonna like taking place in like a ra like a random time jump like taking place like a two months after the incident from kingdom at all and all and it kind of took a while for rosalina to be corrupted and turn into curse on all because i really want to know how she even became this to begin with i'm pretty sure all of us want to know as well because if you know if that's really the case then okay that headset that was made from the first game really was must have been very powerful to send such a huge wavelength to corrupt not only just Bowser but also Rosalina who pretty much lives in the galaxies at the moment but right now we're just gonna have to find out and see whether or not on what the heck just happened to this character or what exactly happened to Rosalina overall but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this are you all excited for Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope I want to know all your thoughts and opinions down below about this and so with that leave a like comment subscribe hit the notification button bell for more videos follow my twitter and I'll see you guys next time and remember remember this once a legend always a legend like a